Hello everyone, how are we doing? Fancy meeting you here in my bed. <laughs> Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome to your new favorite place on the internet. My name is Bella and I'm currently in bed. Yes, yes I am. I'm not like ready to go to bed, but um, I just, okay, real talk, I've been feeling crappy for a couple of days now. I don't even know when it started, but I feel like I just haven't had a really good productive day in a while and I've just felt um like i'm wasting time i don't know it's a very weird mindset to live with i don't know like i've just been not doing great and i think <laughs> sorry is that too real i don't know i haven't been doing great and i thought you know a great way to motivate myself is to vlog about it um just kind of like give you guys the rundown of my game plan for today and like actually make myself do these things because obviously i need to do them i need to get them done and these will make me feel better it's just like the actual motivation to do them is missing at the moment so i feel like making it into a vlog and making you guys do this with me and like you know keeping each other company in a way i don't know i feel like it's going to motivate me to want to do these things so i thought hey why not why not make a whole day out of it and just like romanticize whatever it is that we're going to be doing today hi welcome to my brain it's a little bit messy at the moment i hope you don't mind i have a couple of things that i need to get done but i did turn on a very cozy candle because i feel like candles always make me feel better <laughs> i don't know there's just something there there's probably some psychological factor involved that i don't want to get into but anyways i have my cozy candle on and i thought the first thing before telling you guys of my to-do list for the day i thought that i would talk about a couple of the books that i've been currently reading because i have not vlogged about any of these books but they are on my april tbr and the reason that i haven't vlogged about them is because because I haven't felt motivated and I've just been sad and I don't really like vlogging when I'm sad because it's really hard for me to pretend to be excited about things when I'm not even though I am you know what I mean <laughs> okay so anyways I just really want to talk about these books because I'm actually like I feel like I did a really good job at picking the books that I was going to read for this month because every single one of them have been hits they've just been such a great time to be with so the first one that I didn't actually bring with me oh, a few moments later no the construction started there that's also another reason that i haven't been able to film anything because um i have construction in front of me my neighbors are also building something and now there's construction inside of my home so as you can imagine the noises have been <laughs> they have been a very interesting new addition to my life um pretty unbearable if i do say so myself but um it's okay we move on so the first book that i read in the month of april was happy place by this is not a wrap-up i just kind of want to mention the books that i've been reading currently because i've just been having such a great time and since i didn't vlog about them i feel like this is the perfect time to talk about them so happy place look at all these tabs absolutely wonderful as you can see my second experience with happy place was a lot better than the first time that i read this back in 2023 and yeah i think i related a lot more to the characters and i could see where they were coming from and they just made a lot more sense um now that i didn't have any set of expectations for them i just let them be whoever they needed to be and it was like okay i see you i understand you and i love spending time with you another book that i have been reading for a while now is the tenant of wildfell hall i mentioned this in my april tbr and i also mentioned that this was going to be a buddy read and we've been doing pretty good i think that i'm enjoying this book more than my buddy reader is more than my buddy is oh that's weird i feel like i'm enjoying this book more than she is which is a shame but also we, we're still reading this so maybe her feelings are going to change after a couple more chapters but i'm currently on page 203 which is the beginning of chapter 23 can you focus on what i want to show you there we go thank you i've also been using a lot of tabs and it's just been really interesting i'm actually really enjoying this story and even though there's not like a lot of plot going on the characters are interesting and the character dynamics and 
you know, it's definitely very toxic. So that's something that I have enjoyed reading about. It's kind of funny that I've been reading The Tenant of Wildfell Hall because then the next book that I picked up, oh my God, that's gonna drive me insane. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just- Can you see why I haven't been able to film? Anyways, it's kind of ironic that I've been reading this because then the next book that I've been reading, How to End a Love Story, it actually mentions The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, which I actually found quite crazy. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but it was just surreal to see that the main character in this book was reading the same book that I'm currently reading. And it was just kind of, it was kind of crazy. Like it's never happened to me before where I'm reading a book and then the other book that I'm reading mentions the book that I'm reading. Am I making sense? I don't think so. I literally will not be able to, f oh my God, I found it. <gasps> oh, there we go. The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. I used Keanu Reeves because obviously and yeah, it was just kind of a wild experience. I had never felt that. I had never experienced that before. Also, I've just been having a lot of fun with the emojis. I think I mentioned it in a previous vlog, but I've just been using a lot of the Discord emojis that are on my server because they are how I communicate. <laughs> they literally are how I communicate. As you can see, I've been using this one a lot. I don't even know if you can see that but um i also have another one which is this one and yeah i've just been having a very good time oh I have, i've also been using the blush cat a lot because i love it but again i did finish this book and look at all the tabs like i've been going insane with the tabs and it makes me so happy because whenever i read a book and the final product is this tabbed it's like this was a good experience and i just had so much fun this was actually such a surprising read because i knew i was going to really like it but I had no idea that I was going to love it. And the fact that this is like a 4.5 star read just kind of shook my life. <laughs> like I'm really, I'm stunned, honestly. Stunned is the right word for how much I enjoyed this. I think I read this in like the span of a day because it was just so good I couldn't put it down and I didn't want to and I didn't have to. So yeah, um, I basically did a 24 hour readathon without even wanting to, which is crazy now that I think about it. But anyways, How to End a Love Story by Yuling Kwong, highly recommend. Yuling Kwong is actually the person that is adapting Emily Henry's novels into movies. And this book is about that basically, where our main character, she wrote a book and now it's being adapted into a TV show. And she's like part of the whole process where she's like in the writer's room and she's in the production team and also the post-production team. And it's kind of crazy how the author, like she knows so much about this craft. She wrote a whole book about it and mixed in romance and grief and family connections and family relationships. It was just, it was so good. Like the yearning, the drama, the relationships, the emotions, the feelings, the conversations that we were having in this book with these, it was just so good. It was so good and I loved it. And then what else? Oh my God, another book, wait, hold up. I actually can't believe that I finished this so early on in the month because I thought it was going to take me longer, but I finished East of Eden by John Steinbeck and like, exactly what can i say i loved this book let me just the tabs speak for themselves can we just take a second to appreciate the tabs look at look at the amount of tabs that's like an insane amount of tabs it's an insane amount of noise as well but we persevere we move on anyways a lot of tabs for an incredible book that i will forever be thinking about john steinbeck the man that you are like absolutely of course this was so nearly perfect i ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars but still like oh my goodness this is definitely one of my favorite classics that i've read in recent years for sure it probably makes it to my top five classics of all time but i've never done a list like that so i don't really know what classics would be on that list but if i ever did that list this would definitely be top five maybe 90 percent sure if i loved this book any less i'd be able to talk about how good it is but I can't. Just thinking about this book brings up so many emotions and so many thoughts and opinions that I don't have 
enough vocabulary to properly talk about so um it was devastating but beautiful and hopeful but dreary at the same time it was just it was life this is literally a book about life and it's many hurdles and it's many beauties and it's many hopes and dreams and nightmares and tough times and the entirety of life could be summed up into this book and i just these characters especially sam <laughs> Sam, you will never be forgotten. Sam and Lee and Cal, <laughs> these boys have my heart. They will forever have my heart. You don't understand the amount of love that I have for Cal. <sighs> like I love him so much and I didn't even, it's like my love for him sneaked up on me. I didn't even know how much I loved him until there came like this one point where something was happening to him and I was like, I have to protect you at all costs. Those have been my current reads and then something else that I'm reading, which I think is one of my goals for today because we still haven't talked about my goals for today. But anyways, I'm also reading The Iliac Crest by Cristina Rivera Garza. There we go. The Iliac... There we go. The Iliac Crest by Cristina Rivera Garza. I have been saying that I'm going to be reading this book for years now. And the fact that I finally picked it up and the fact that I'm like 20 pages away from finishing this is actually insane. I was actually reading this book before I started this vlog because I was like, I should make it a goal of mine to finish this before today ends because tomorrow I'm going on a trip and I don't want to go on that trip before I finish this book because then this is all I'm going to be thinking about. I also want to look for Emmy's review on this book and just see what her thoughts were because I feel like she's we're definitely going to be having a difference of opinions and I kind of want to see how she saw this book or like what she took away from reading this book. So once I finish this, I'm definitely going to be looking for her videos on this book. And I did have a post-it, yes I did, I have a post-it with me where I wrote everything that I wanted to do. So the very first thing that we need to get done today is finish the Iliac Crest. I do have a couple of tabs so far, like nothing major, nothing crazy. This book definitely has a couple of bangers um, in the sense that it has very nice prose and there are a lot of quotes and just moments or scenes that leave you kind of like, oh, I want to underline that. I want to go, let's go back to that. It's not a very obvious book at times. I don't really know what's going on. And for this, for, for such a short book, it's kind of weird or it's kind of crazy that you don't really know what's going on because you don't have that many pages to find the explanation or to understand. So I'm really hoping that a lot of the questions that I have are going to be answered, but also maybe that's the point. Maybe the point is to be confused and maybe the point is that we'll never have the answers to these questions because at the beginning of the book, there is this note from the author. While women's voices throughout the world continue to be silenced and those in power still argue for the irrelevance of gender equality, characters in this book understand that gender and what is done in the name of gender can be lethal. When disappearing becomes an epidemic, especially among women, this book reminds readers that there is always a trace left, a manuscript, a footprint, a dent, an echo worthy of our full attention and our inquiries. When women disappear from our factories and our history, from our lives, we have to re-examine what is normal. Reality may have become inexplicable or impenetrable and therefore maddening, but questioning such circumstances lies at the core of this novel. You see, so it's kind of like, you know what I mean? But this is definitely the first goal of the day. And then I need to do therapy exercises. So I don't know if I've mentioned this. Should I wait for the hammering to stop? Okay, it stopped. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm actually back in physical therapy. So I go three times a week. Well, yeah, I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but then each day at home i have to do the same exercises so that my body I, I don't know i don't know why i'm going to so much detail but the point is i have some exercises that i need to get done it's basically like 45 minutes of exercising and yoga as well and then walking on the treadmill i have zero motivation to do that and i don't think i'm going to film myself doing that because it's just like a lot you know but i do have to get that done and at the end of the day it's like it's good for me because i'm obviously seeing the results but also like 45 minutes of those exercises, especially because it's like three sets and then like 12 repetitions. It's like a lot, <laughs> it's like a lot, but uh, it, it's for my own good. I have to get it done. 
so it has to happen so therapy session no therapy exercises is also on my to-do list for today and then after my therapy i have to pack for the trip that i mentioned earlier um it's a three day trip or like two and a half day trip i don't have to pack that much but i still have to pack and then i also there's another book that i'm reading <laughs> but i am reading it as an ebook i don't own it physically and it's this book that you've probably heard of if you if you're on TikTok or Instagram or just anywhere that talks about books, you probably know what this book is and it's called Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. It's like this first book in this series about sports romance and in this particular book we are following, oh what are their names, Anastasia and Nathan. I'm, I can't believe I just remembered that, that's insane. So yeah, Anastasia is um, a, like an ice skater um, she competes like officially like her dream is to go to the Olympics and then Nathan is the captain of the hockey team in this university that they both go to you know circumstances force them to be together they have a very rocky start to their friendship and then obviously this friendship develops into something deeper um and there's a lot of smut involved let's i'm not gonna you know try and paint a pretty picture this is a very horny romance i will say it um it has to be said but also the drama like apart from the smut the drama is pretty fun like i really do love me a good contemporary romance with a lot of drama involved um i kind of wish that i knew these characters better but i'm only 45 percent of the way through so maybe i'll get to know them the more that i read um and yeah i have heard a lot of people complaining that there's so much smut there's kind of like no plot compared to how much smut there is and i'm not a fan of that but i kind of want to see for myself how i'll feel about it when i'm reading it so as i mentioned i'm 45 percent of the way through i'm definitely not going to be finishing it today that is not the goal the goal is to reach 60 percent um i don't know why i came up with that goal it just kind of feels right so yeah because i'm obviously going to be finishing this in like the next 30 minutes and i'm not going to immediately keep reading icebreaker this is more of like a nighttime activity so yeah just 60 percent of the way through icebreaker just see how i feel i do need to go to the supermarket but i feel like i'm already asking too much of myself like i don't want to push myself too hard like there's a limit to the limit that you can push yourself to you know like you need to know when to stop like you need to understand or you need to feel when you're asking too much from a person that's already like at her limit so i think the things that i've put on my to-do list for now they're not too much they're just like right there i don't need to leave my house which is amazing and i can do all of these things in the comfort of my own bedroom basically for sure so those are the things that i need to get done today at this point thank goodness for my i can't live like this let me can i film real quick okay so those are the things that i want to get done today and as i mentioned i just really wanted to take you guys along with me because honestly i could use the company okay like we could all use some good company so if you're also trying to be productive while at the same time being kind to yourself and not trying to push yourself to the limit hopefully this video also serves as a little bit of motivation for you and also company like for sure we can keep each other company it's also that's a good time so i'm gonna go back to reading the iliac crest and I'm definitely going to be putting on my headphones so that I don't have to listen to that. And we'll talk later, hopefully.
We have, this is, yes, this is my microphone for today. We have an update. Um, I have officially finished the Iliac Crest by Cristina Rivera Garza and translated by Sarah Booker. It's definitely a journey, like for sure, like totally. I still don't 100% think I understand what happened, but I think also that's, like that's what's supposed to occur i don't know i could be so wrong about this but like the thing is the whole theme of this book or like one of the many themes of this book is that you don't you can't really rely on the narrator because first and foremost our narrator is a liar and our narrator has this huge secret that they've been keeping from everyone their entire lives so you don't you can't rely on this character or like this narrator to tell the truth which is alarming because he's the one that's recounting this story and if you can't trust him then like what are you supposed to trust because obviously we're seeing this story through his eyes and basically we know what he wants us to know like we just have these characters that we know nothing about and obviously they're not telling us who they are or where they've come from or like what their goal is like what the, what do they want to achieve and at the end of the book we still don't really know there's just a lot going on in this book which is incredible because it literally has less than 100 no less than 200 pages and yet so much went down in this book it's kind of like it, it was there's this one goodreads review that was like i've never done crack but i think this book helped me know what it would be like and i like i completely understand where that review was coming from because i just i don't know what i read i know that it was enjoyable and i know that i was really into the whole mystery of it all and just how gothic it all felt and how tense and the fear that this book kind of invokes in you is also very interesting i wouldn't say it's like a new favorite book but i did really enjoy my time reading it so i would call that a win <laughs> um i don't like i don't know who i would recommend this to but i'm really glad that i finally um, got around to reading this because I do enjoy unreliable narrators because it constantly keeps you guessing and it makes you question everything and it makes for a very immersive and interactive reading experience so I did enjoy it and I'm now updating my reading trackers because I do have quite a lot of them and I'm currently on my Google Sheets one and I'm very excited about this because I do have the Iliac Crest mentioned in a couple of these tabs like for example it's on my TBR so this is a TBR that I wrote at the beginning of the year and it has all of the books that I physically owned. I haven't included all of the new ones that I've gotten because I just wanna, I wanna make sure that all of the books that I had at the beginning of the year are read by the end of the year. So I do have it here, where is it? Here we go, the Iliac Crest. Oh my goodness, okay. So according to this, out of the 30 books that I have on this TBR list, I've already read 23 which means that I'm only missing seven, which is crazy. And I am very happy about that. Oh my goodness, because we're only in April. And I also have 24 books to read in 2024. I do have the Iliac Crest here. I can finally change it to red. Oh my goodness. I can't wait until this entire tab is like fully green. It's going to be so satisfying. I'm very excited. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. Excited. I still have to do my notion because I already did Goodreads, the sheets, and Storygraph. So now my personal tracker, which is Notion. Let's go to my library. I was never able to fix the problem with the GIF, so I just screenshotted it. And whenever Notion fixes it, I'll just replace it with the actual GIF. But for now, it's just a static picture 
of this um, screenshot from a Studio Ghibli film. Yeah, currently reading The Tenants of Wallfell Hall, as I mentioned. I've read 56 books in 2024. And honestly, I'm going to be very sincere right now. Most of those books have been manga because I don't know if you know this, but I recently caught up to One Piece. The last volume that I read, oh, it's volume 108. And I think that volume 109 is coming out in the next couple of months. I don't even know. But the point is I read a lot of One Piece this year and I also oh, wow that's a lot okay a lot of the books that I read this year have been manga but I have read really incredible novels and fiction books and I'm just really happy with my reading this year I don't like I'm just making great decisions with the books that I'm picking up but anyways let's update the Iliac Crest read from April 10th to April 11th rating 3.5 and i read it in 2024 there it is so now i'm only reading two books which is icebreaker and the tenant of wildfell hall now that i finished the iliac crest i'm gonna do should i pack and then do the therapy exercises because i feel like packing would be a bit funner I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> you see, this is why I need the company because I like speaking out loud. Like I like vocalizing my thoughts because for some reason that just helps me to think things through. Think things through. Yes, think, th think things, think, try to say that five times really fast. Think things through, think things through, think things through. I think I'm out of the frame. I think, um, I think I'm gonna pack right now. Can you see me? I don't like packing. <laughs> Let the record show. I don't like packing, but we have to pack because we're having a productive day today. So join me in packing, an activity that I do not like to do, but I have to do. So I'm gonna put on a funky playlist and let's get this party started. <laughs> Sorry that I let you fall, like that was not my intention. But um, this is the new angle, the safer angle. Anyways, it'd be great if it'd be six like right now before. But anyways, it is currently 5.59, about to be 6 p.m. I have my bag here that I need to pack. So the thing is, I started off very, very optimistic. I was like, oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna plan all my outfits. And it's all going to be like so organized and so coordinated and i did that <laughs> i did that for like the first outfit which is just you know tomorrow's outfit um 
and then which is this one if you're interested oh my god it's so cute we love it but and actually if it's tomorrow should i just leave it outside yes actually indeed i should leave it outside see at least i'm thinking a little bit <laughs> you know what i mean but anyways um you know i started with that mindset i was like yeah let's get it um but the more time that passed and just the more items of clothing that i put on i was just like why am i doing this like it's not that serious bestie and like you know i don't personally really like trying on clothes because i just don't like purposefully looking at myself in the mirror for extended periods of time is just not something that i would do for fun so yeah i just i didn't want to keep doing it so i stopped which was honestly the way that i'm just putting all of these things with no actually there is an order to these things but anyways okay am i packing more clothes than i need for sure for sure babes but um i'd rather have more options than have none <laughs> so like i have all of these nice tops but then i always take this with me because this is like my comfort t-shirt and if i ever if i'm ever feeling like a little bit claustrophobic by my clothing is that a thing am i the only one that feels that way like sometimes the things that i put on they just feel too tight or they feel like too much and i just like i need to go i need to go to where i belong which is anime graphic t-shirts anyways um what a tangent i also packed my toiletries and this cute matching little thing that we got going on thank you mom <laughs> i also packed my accessories which um, if i'm being honest i'm probably not going to wear oh i was supposed to put this on before i started recording um i just like when my lips look what's that word shiny and like glossy so can we pretend that my lips have looked like this forever anyways i also have some lotion and some perfume why am i just okay spanish lesson let's go lotion y perfume so lotion is lotion and perfume is perfume so just in case you weren't really aware of that well now you are you're welcome so anyways i guess i'm all packed like all i have to do apart from this is put my Forgot my microphone. Apart from this, all I need are like my chargers and stuff for this baby and for my this other baby. That's really all that's left to do to pack. But since I'm using them tonight, I'm obviously not gonna pack it tonight or like today. Um, so I guess we can do this now. <sighs> exactly. I have finished packing. Hopefully, I'm doing like a to-do list cute little thingy here but um yeah i finished packing i think now it's time like i really don't want to do a bestie but i have to complete this to-do list now that i'm vlogging about it like you guys are keeping me what's that word you guys are keeping me Ay, Dios mío, por favor, not this again you guys are keeping me con no it's in the tip of my tongue you guys are keeping me con you guys are keeping me Hey, por favor, let's not do this. Keeping someone in check. Is that even words? Hold someone accountable. <gasps> oh my God. That is like, I it no. Like Google didn't tell me, by the way. It just said hold someone in check or bring someone under control or curb someone, curb your enthusiasm. But no, I, I remembered all by myself. You, stop, not me forgetting. You guys have... I literally just read oh, accountable you guys you guys are keeping me accountable so i think it's a good thing that i started this vlog before because even my humor like my mood changed because before i started vlogging i was like a little despondent i was like eh, i don't really want to live today i just want to rot in bed and look at me go i packed i did that other stuff i finished a book oh my goodness and now i'm gonna do my therapy even though i really don't want to but i'm doing it because i want to make you this, this goes, goes up. up i've had this for like a year it go the way <laughs> the way that i did not know this that is crazy i've always been like oh this would have been perfect if, if it would have been like a little bit more como que customizable in terms of height 
Loca, my entire life, I've been putting like books on top of, oh my God, I'm so, see, if I wouldn't have been vlogging, I wouldn't have found out about this. So thank you guys for teaching me new things today. Leave in the comments below something new that you learned today because it truly is true that you learn something new every single day of your life. It could be the stupidest thing, example A, exhibit B, but um, leave it down below. Maybe we'll all learn something new today. <laughs> I'll do my therapy exercises and then I'll wash my hair and then I'll reach 60% of icebreaker. There we go, such a great day and it's only 6.06. Yay, okay, talk to you later. disclosure <laughs> I'm gonna regret this when I'm editing but um full disclosure I am exhausted it was like maybe 35 minutes of the exercises and then five minutes on the treadmill and I am exhausted I am not a sedentary person like before I got my injury I did a lot of exercises, but obviously um, the no walking for a month kind of ruined that. So I'm just trying to rehabilitate my body at this point. Um, and apparently, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys, I forgot how to walk. Compensating for my right side, I relied too heavily on my left side. So now I kind of have like a like a very specific walk and that's obviously not good so my therapist is helping me you know she's teaching me how to walk <laughs> which is interesting because you know you never really like nobody teaches you how to walk it's just kind of something that comes to you naturally um and somehow here i am learning how to walk um at my very old age so yeah so i finished therapy um and the thing is, like, right before, no, like, even during the therapy exercises, I'm like, I do not want to be doing this. I'm so tired. Like, I just want to sit and be lazy and watch my anime or K-drama. But, like, afterwards, like, right now, I feel so good. And I have, like, so much energy. And I feel like I can definitely do what's on the rest of my to-do list for today, which is to wash my hair. El Diablo. <laughs> not this. Um, to wash my hair and then to read 60% of Icebreaker. I have it on my phone. There we go. And I'm 50, no, 45% of the way through. I think I'm in the middle of a chapter because I was reading it late last night and then I was like, I don't understand what's going on anymore. So I think while I get ready to take a shower, um, just like pre-prep or like pre-shower prep before I like while I'm doing that I'm gonna put on the audiobook, you know, just to get a head start. God, I'm so tired But like in a, it's like a good tired, you know, cuz sometimes you feel guilty at the end of the day where you've done nothing and you're like Oh, there's this th that's a concept like that concept has a name and it's like when you're when you purposefully stay up late as a sort of punishment for the laziness throughout the day there is a concept there's a term there that i don't really know but i'm very familiar with it unfortunately i've been having so many days like that lately so i'm like really happy that today is an exception because like it, it sucks to feel like that for such long periods of times especially if they're like one after the other and you're like your brain is like come on girly let's do something but then your body's like no so i'm really happy that i forced myself to do this because right now it doesn't feel like i'm forcing myself like i genuinely want to keep talking i'm so glad that you guys are here with me once again if you need some motivation or if you need support if you need company during these hard times i'm here for you as you're here for me when i needed you so like 
thank you so much like the video is not over i still need to do two things on my list but yeah i'm just really grateful if you're here and if we if like you're choosing to spend your precious time with me and that means the world so thank you talk to you soon this is a terrible angle to be in but um it's just it's very intimate you know what i mean like because i'm on my bed and we're just talking face to face bare face as well so it's like you know it's a very intimate moment between you and i um the parasocial relationship is really parasocialing right now so i'm gonna go and see you soon did the things that I had to do because now I have to film this with wet hair and I'm not really a fan of looking like a wet dog but um anyway <laughs> anyways it's currently 9 20 and I just reached 60% of icebreaker by Hannah Grace I wait where's my microphone okay I <laughs> This is, I'm so silly. Anyways, would it be accurate to say that I'm enjoying it? I think it would be, yeah. It's nothing serious. It's very, very silly and goofy and smutty. And it's definitely like an entire, like a whole 180 from the books that I've been recently reading. More specifically the classics that I've been spending time with because obviously East of Eden and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall and the Iliac Crest have not been goofy, they have not been smutty, and they have not been silly. So it's, I think I like having that balance of different genres and different books to keep me entertained, just so that it doesn't feel too overwhelming. When I'm reading so many classics, one after the other, and only reading classics, it can feel a little bit too much. So I do like to balance things out with books like Icebreaker from time to time. They're not my favorite, but um, I do have a lot of fun reading them. So I'm not complaining, okay? I'm having fun. I've also washed my hair, as you can see. Obviously no content, no footage of that. <laughs> I think that officially means that I have completed my entire to-do list for the day. I am actually like stunned. Like I did not, like when I wrote that to-do list, I thought, okay, let's do at least three of the things on this list. Like, you know, I really didn't believe in myself today and look at me go, like I did everything. And now I think like, this is probably a terrible idea, but I wanna try and edit this vlog tonight before I go to sleep so that I can leave it uploaded before I leave on my trip. Obviously it's not necessary. I know you guys would understand if the video is like not on time or whatever, but uh, it just, it would make me feel really good if I could do that and just like prove to myself that I can do the things that I set my mind to. And like, honestly, I'm still feeling like really creative and really inspired and motivated to do these things. So like, I really wanna, like I really wanna take advantage of this feeling and I'm not going to be able to go to sleep right now because I'm just like so pumped and so energized. So I think I'm gonna try, like I'm going to import all of the clips and I'm going to edit for as long as I can. 
for as long as I want to and if I don't finish it it's okay like this is for future Bella it's okay if you don't finish editing this vlog on time like literally the world is not gonna end if you don't finish editing this vlog um, and it's going to be okay you're going to be okay it's okay the goals that you set for yourself take them more as suggestions and not something that has to happen I feel like that's a healthier perspective or mindset to adopt so i think that that's what i'm gonna do now but that does mean that i have to wrap this vlog up Aww. and i really actually like not even kidding i really enjoyed doing this i just really enjoyed it and i liked updating you guys and just keeping myself accountable and having you guys here with me i don't know i really liked it so let me know if you enjoy these types of vlogs these types of videos because i definitely see myself doing more of these in the future i really hope you enjoyed like i really do i'm not even gonna tell you to do anything like i mean hopefully you really enjoyed and if you did thank you so much for staying until the end and keeping me company like i really needed that apparently and i'm really hoping that i can keep this energy up for the rest of the week because that would be brilliant and also if you've been currently or if you've been going through it lately if you've been struggling with feeling motivated and feeling inspired or if you've been struggling with feeling happy <laughs> with your life and during your day-to-day -day life i hope that this video brought a little bit of comfort to you it brought you know, it reminded you that you're not alone in your struggle and that it's okay to struggle from time to time. Just know that you will get out of it because you are stronger than your bad days and you've literally survived every single bad day that you've ever had. So like, that's incredible and it should be celebrated. So if you haven't given yourself a little treat in a while, you definitely should like go get that eight dollar coffee if you want to go buy yourself a little cute little thing or you don't even have to spend any money like just light up a really nice candle like this candle has been burning the entire day i don't think that's healthy actually <laughs> i should probably like let it rest but anyways do something for yourself do that that's your homework for today or for tonight so i love you guys so very much once again thank you so much for sticking until the end i'm feeling really lovely really calm and peaceful um and i love you guys oh i shouldn't have done that <laughs> should not have done that i love you guys so so very much i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day whenever you're seeing this and i will definitely be seeing you next time bye wait bye <laughs> i'm so silly hey wow. jimmy you nice keep going